Okay, so a lot while back I had said I had tried to do a omnibus overview, but it ended up failing. Well, because I have a new setup, it's easier to get the omnibuses out. I forgot to. I just saw two. I already forgot them. Already forgot. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna do this. Um, I mean, to be fair, they're they're soft cover ones. They're not in the same spot. So I'm doing this now because. Um, I'm not getting any omnibuses this week. I am getting comics this week, which is why I'm going to have a video tomorrow and then a video on Wednesday, which will be the, the haul. Tomorrow, I maybe a reading recommendation, and then Wednesday will be the haul. It's not a done omnibus. There was a Joker omnibus I really wanted, but I remembered it after I spent my money on everything else. It would have come in on Thursday anyways, and it's just an anthology series. Not an anthology series, but say just a series of, like, random, because it's Joker appearances in the Bronze Age, hence why it's called Joker the Bronze Age Omnibus, but it's just, it's just random issues, and I have a lot of those, and you guys already know how I feel about those books. I still get them, yes, but I just hate how it's random issues. I mean, that one at least would make sense, but, like, you know what I mean, like, I, I don't know which one to be, um, part two of the series, and I'd be confused. I, I didn't want to do that. And the books I'm getting, one of them I really, really, well, both of them I really, I really, really want, but there's one that, like, um, I'm eager to get more than the other. Of course, again, yeah, both of them eager to get. Okay, so Irredeemable Omnibus. This is a softcover one. It collects Irredeemable 1 through 37, the first special, and Incorruptible 25 26. No, no real uh, dust jacket, obviously. Then Incorruptible is issues 1 through 30. And then just Irredeemables 32 to 33. That's why I had to get them both. It's because you sh um, after a while, after reading Irredeemable, you're going to want to read this. Because it's, it's, it's a companion. But it's um, this one came out like December, and Irredeemable came out in, let's say, I, I think it was October. So probably three issues, actually. Now, this is going to be hard to do. Okay, so. Oh, sorry. Uh, new X-Men Omnibus. Collecting New X-Men 114 to 154. And they have it in uh, bold. New X Men Annual 2001. I might just have to do it the way. And always, always, always with these omnibuses, always take the dust jacket off when you're reading it. There's the. What looks like under the dust jacket. I like when they do this more than just a. Then what you'll see, actually, for one of these, when they actually do have a picture. Wolverine Goes to Hell Omnibus. This is technically a volume two of Jason Aaron's run on Wolverine. The volume one, it was weird. There was, like, the soft covers were available, and then a week later, they weren't. And the one, volume one is, like, $170 now, and it's just, like, a normal, uh, complete collection book. Um, this collects Astonishing Spider-Man and Wolverine 1 through 6, which was one of them, that, that was the hardcover I was going to give away. The not, not this, obviously, but the hardcover of Astonishing Spider-Man and Wolverine. But again, I couldn't do it. It pisses me off. I wanted to be nicer once, and I was told, nope, you can't do that. So whatever. Uh, the first 20 issues of the 2020, 2020, 2010 Wolverine series. Um, 5.1 and 300 to 304, X-Men Schism 1 through 5, and material from Wolverine The Road to Hell number 1. I'm not going to do what um, other people do and go through all the names and everything. That's, that's just going to take a whole lot of time. To be honest, I skip over that. If I ever get, a, if I ever get sponsored, like that guy not sponsored, if I ever get... um books from Marvel, like that other guy, it's near, near Mint Condition, and Gem Mint Collectibles, I think, does that, too. Uh, but they get their books, they get books from Marvel, and they kind of have to do that, I feel. Or they feel they feel a need to, and I feel a need to do that, too. And that's the dust jacket. What was under it? Probably shouldn't be putting on, putting them on my bed. So this is the one, I should do volume one first. This is what I was telling you about. Okay, I gotta remember where I was. Okay, I was right there. 
about what I don't like. And I hope they're not loud downstairs. Just this, this just black background. You know, it's just all black. This is what I don't like in the omnibuses. I mean, I'm obviously not going to wait until a second printing, obviously. It's just I'd rather have, like, a design than just, oh, Fantastic Four omnibus. Uh, this is Fantastic Four by John Byrne, Volume 1. And this guy collects... Again, it says, oh, well, it says stories. No, it still says stories, and it's weird. But it's not stories, it's, it's not stories from these books. It's the full, it's weird, full thingy. Uh, collecting stories from Marvel Team Up 61 to 62, Marvel 2 and 1, 50, Fantastic Four 209 to 218, 220 to 221, 232 to 260, and Annual 17, Avengers 233, and Thing Issue number 2. Now, you do not, under any circumstances, need to get that Fantastic Four Masterworks Volume 20. I, I, I did a, I did a, um, review of that. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say reading recommendations. I just hit something on this. Why do I feel like I never uploaded that video? I don't like that feeling. Because they would have gotten rid of it, anyways. They, cause I dream about it sometimes. Like I have like such vivid dreams, you know, like like they're realistic, and I'll think that they actually happen sometimes. I'm like, oh wait, that was a dream. Okay, so I'll put this here. Then I got volume two, which this one's more straightforward. Um, this is Fantastic Four. 261 to 295 and annual 18 through 19 alpha flight number four thing number 10 and 19 avengers annual 14 and material from secret wars issue 2 epic illustrated 26 to 34 what if 36 what the not what if but what the uh, issue 2 and issue 10 thing issue 7 and fantastic four uh, fantastic four roast and Fantastic Four Special Edition number one. It's a lot of books that this guy collects. Um, and they just had material from Santa Mind says stories. It doesn't say that it doesn't say that here either. Weird. Uh, this is out of print technically, but you can find it pretty cheap on eBay and it's this condition. And I got this a while back, so and they say that there's a certain way that you should open up your omnibuses. But I just do this. This is how I do it. I just do like this. Okay, how is that? How is that um thing in the middle look? The uh, gutter loss, like that thing right there, that little hole you see. That's all I do. I'm reading the uh, volume one, and so far I haven't I don't have any problems. And, and and Animal Man, which was used from the library, how however many people, however long they've had it, and well they've had, they've had it for a while. I feel. Because it's a pretty old omnibus, and that's also technically technically out of print, but it's you know easy to find. Some of them that, that are out of print. When I hear out of print, I think of like the uh, Stan Lee Fantastic Four, which is like outrageously priced. But um, that Animal Animal Man one they had was fine. And I read it, no no blemishes even before. Planetary omnibus. This is the newer ones. The reason why I do this is just, like, I like going through all my omnibuses, and I feel like you guys do, too. I hope. Planetary 1 through 27, Planetary Batman number 1, Planetary JLA number 1, and Planetary Authority number 1. This is Warren Ellis. It's like a... I read the first issue, and I really, I really enjoyed it. I like these, like, different kind of books. Oh. I would have thought that um, Grant Morrison would have written the uh, JLA book, the crossover. Oh, and the dust jacket. I have a but <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm not putting the dust jackets back into the thing afterwards, just to save time. And it's gonna be a, it's just a bunch. Of it's gonna be a bunch of dust jackets on my bed and on, on the floor. I probably will put them, I'll probably put them on the bed because I don't want my puppy stepping on them because I want to keep them in mint condition. And that's just the thing. And I hate that sound that it's making. Yeah, it's that. Okay, the Authority Omnibus. 
This is the one I haven't read. The Stormwatch is is a technical prequel. Um, it's all right. I, I, I hope it's reviewed lower than the authority on Goodreads, and that's what I usually follow for the most part. There's like two books I disagree with them on, and one that I hope I disagree with them on because I just bought the book. Uh, for like I got the book for Christmas. Oh my god, huge gutter loss there. But that, that's normal. That sound that you just heard, the cracking. And that's the dust jacket, and I got nobody collects. So I almost forgot to do that. Okay. The Authority 1 through 29. Planetary the Authority ruling the world number one. Was I collected in that one? Yep, Planetary Authority number one. I, I don't know if I said that. I hope I did. Um, ruling the world number one. Authority Annual 2000 number one. Jenny Sparks, The Secret History of the Authority, 1 through 5, and Stories from Wildstorm, Summer Special, Issue 1, and Wildstorm, A Celebration of 25 Years. This is a lot of regurgitated information, but... Why put links to the other videos when I can just do it all in one? You know, just say, oh, this is the only bus I have, here's... I just did that, why did I just do that? Well, it's one, it's one out of the bag. I thought we were almost done. I just realized I had to go to the other side. You know what? Screw it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it this way. My most recent omnibus, Doom Patrol, collecting nineteen to sixty-three, and then there's like a Doom Patrol special, number one. When it's just like that, when it's like easier to like, it's just like two things. It's easier to remember. Like. Uh, wild, so that planetary one and the authority I would have remembered if it was just the the maxi series and then maybe be an, an annual. And that's what it looks like under the dust jacket. Sorry, the glare. Oh, come on. Okay. There. It's as best as it's good to get it. I, I love this stutter, apparently. That's why I do it so often. I love the stutter. Again, apparently. Now this one, I realized just what it is that feels weird about this paper. And it's because it's a little bent, not bent, but it's a little, like, creased. I don't like that. Okay, this is, oh, sorry, this is Invisibles. Let's go under the dust jacket. Yeah, always, always, always take the thing off of the... Eh. That's really weird the way they did that. I'm going to show you that in a second, something I just noticed. So they have the barcode like this. So when you put it into the little thing, then I have to hold it up like this. What if you're Newbury Comics or Amazon and you just have it packaged? They pack Maybe they package it after. That, that's weird. And the price is up here. 150 bucks for this and the um, Doom Patrol. But this it makes sense. It's 1,500 pages. Surprised Marvel doesn't do that, because that's a 100 page book. I don't know if they've gotten that high. I feel like they have. Okay, um, oh yeah, it's not here. Sorry to, sorry to take forever to do this one book. I know it's issues 1 through 22 with the first volume. Sorry, 1 through 25. Absolute Vertigo, The Invisibles, Volume 2. 1 through 22, Vertigo, Winter's Edge, Number 1. And The Invisibles, Volume 3, 12 to 1. It, they, 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 did, they, did, they, did, they did a countdown. So it was issue 12 was the first one, and issue 1 was the 12th one. How confusing. Imagine being, like, like wanting to... Not wanting to get... Well, you wouldn't get into it then, because that's the third volume. But imagine... No, imagine you're... You bought Indivisibles, and you're on the third series, and you're like, wait. Why issue 12? Why is that coming out first? Or where's, 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 where's issue 1? And being so confused. Especially if they had a variant fourth printing, didn't know that. It must have been really, it must have been really irritating for the, who, those who didn't know it, but still wanted to get the newest Invisible. So again, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get the third volume as the first one. So I guess that was their way of saying this is a new, this is a new series, new volume of this ongoing, ongoing series. I mean, it was a 60-issue maxi-maxi series. Like, 
ultimate, not ultimate, uh, my ultimates was, like, what was the actually was 13 per one, but they had three of them, because they wanted to confuse you. Uh, but that's, that's actually easier, it's ultimate two, issue one, so like, oh, okay, so there's a, a, a two now, so we have the ultimate one. But, um... Immortal, Immortal Hulk, I can't say Immortal, for, there I said that, Immortal Hulk is a 50 issue maxi maxi series, but it was, it's an, it was technically an ongoing, but it got, got cancelled, I think, or something, it's just gonna fall, so like, I can't do the ear quotes. I don't know why you need to go to specificals, like, I, I don't think you guys, like, care. Well, and for me, it's just like it's teaching you guys like the difference between mini and maxi series. Even I don't know. Even though, I, even though, even I don't fully uh, understand the differences. Like if it's is it seven issues still mini series? Does it does it go to ten issues? I'll look it up like I do this. This is the Daredevil. Sorry, I keep forgetting to do this. At least I don't remember. At, at least I don't forget until after. Marvel Knights Omnibus. No, 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 no. This does not collect any of the other other Marvel Knight series besides Daredevil. Sorry, it has a little, little crossover. It just because like when you get when it's, when it's this short, and I'll show you how much of it is extra shit. Here, let's do this first. Uh, Daredevil zero through fifteen and one half issue, issue one and a half. Oh no, issue half, half issue. Daredevil father one through six. Marvel Authentics with an X. Daredevil number one. And material from Marvel Knights Double Shot Number One. There, there's the, there's the, there's the, that's not that's not Daredevil technically, so we can call it Marvel Knights. It's just stupid. The one I, I mean, of course I, I like this series. Why am I why am I here? I like this series a lot, but um, <coughs> that's why because I had it open to show you the, show you the uh, under, what's on the dust jacket. But like, so this. I just want to see the last few pages. I haven't gotten there yet. I'm very particular about it. I mean, don't you want to get spoiled? But I want to show you. This is all of this is extra shit. None of it is like anything. It's just like extra shit, like the sketches and stuff. And they they really and this is a hundred bucks by the way this small ass thing is a hundred bucks I mean the electric electrica electrica electra omnibus which is also Daredevil which is kind of funny ironic um that's a hundred bucks and it's four hundred pages which is outrageous like that's way too much money yeah Marvel does not like putting their omnibuses for seventy five bucks apparently Punisher Marvel Knights omnibus this is gonna be the next Punisher book I read after the one I'm on right now. I've read it so far, and it's pretty, it's a tad bit slow. Like, it doesn't, I, I feel like, it, I feel like it could be going faster, but it's one of those books where it's like, how would it go faster? I wouldn't even say it's slow, it's kind of just like, it's, it's different from, it, from what I imagined, I guess. I guess, I guess I thought it'd be more fast-paced. Alright, Punisher 2000 series, 1, 8, 1 through 12, that's the main maxi series. Uh, Punisher kills the Marvel Universe. Oh, it's Punisher kills the Marvel Universe, not Punisher versus the Marvel Universe. Still, come on. Oh, and that's why I feel like I didn't do my Fantastic Four, was because it was a reading recommendation, so I did four of them on one. That's right, too. Uh, Marvel Knights Double Shot number one. Ah, so not material from that. Uh, and Punisher one through seven, and then it skips 13 to 37. And those issues eight through eight through twelve, I have only uh, Marvel Knights paperback, which I was so happy to find because I didn't think this is just the. Uh, is that's different? I think they at least try to be different. Um. But where is it going with this? So, oh, because I thought that I, I didn't even think that was available. Like I thought it was like out of not 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 even out of print. I didn't even think they had printed it. You know what I mean? Like I didn't think it was available at all. That's all I had to say. Punisher Max Volume Two, collecting thirty one through sixty. Punisher presents Barracuda Max one through five. Punisher the Tiger with the Y seven I. Punisher the Cell and Punisher the End.
I wonder if this is all. Whoops, I wonder if this is, this is all of uh, Garth Ennis's run on. Because there's there's books. There's a bunch of complete. There's seven complete collections, and I think this collects the first four. I'd say five, maybe. I don't know. But after that, it's the 61 to whatever the last issue was. And I'm wondering if that was after Garth Ennis's run. That's why they only had two omnibuses. Because they can have three. Well, actually, they have one by Jason Aaron. Which is funny because you can find the complete collection for cheaper. In its, in, in its digital. Which, uh, digital... Cause I, I think that's out of print. Even the, uh... Both of them. It's a little crease there. This is under the dust jacket. I, I liked the first volume, the first complete collection of Punisher Max. Actually, I think more than the Marvel Knights. But I, I read Marvel Knights way at, far after than I, uh, I think at least after Punisher Max. Punisher Max has been so long that I have to go back to that one and reread it. Cause I, I don't remember it a whole lot. I just remember liking it a whole lot. Okay, so this is Peter David Hulk, Volume 1. Spoilers, no Volume 2. It's outrageously priced. It's almost full price on Amazon because it's... It's not on a print, actually. Um, and I haven't, I haven't even started this one yet. So, Incredible Hulk, 328 to 330 to 368. Web of Spider-Man, 44. Fantastic Four, 320. And material from Marvel Comics Presents, issue 26 and 45. All by Peter David. Well, it's actually not all by Peter David. Because there's one by Stephen Bis... Some by Bob Harris, one by Stephen Englehart, which they wrote the, um, one wrote, pun uh, one, Punisher, one wrote Fantastic Four, and the other wrote, uh, Web of Spider-Man. Although I feel like Peter David was on Spider-Man at that point. I don't know. It's, um, I'm showing you this, I just showed you that. This one is cool because it shows you the thing here. I don't know why I thought I had to do it the other way. Like, I do, like, this going down. Like, oh, yeah, 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 here's the thing. I can just do it like this. It's much easier. I guess I, I guess I just thought I wouldn't be able to hold the omnibuses. But I'm only holding it for, like, two seconds. And there's, there's my... My bed right now consists of omnibuses, the few that I put on the bed, and dust jackets. We're almost done. Two more. Yeah, two more. And the, um, Punisher... Not the Punisher. The Hulk one. If I don't like volume one, I can, I can, get, I can get, um... I wouldn't say double my money back. Actually, no, double my money. Yeah, double my money back because it's out of print. But I feel like I would like it because I like David, David Peters. I like Peter David's. Um, I love it actually. His X Factor. Go read his X Factor. His I think it's the 2004 series. Just look up Peter David X Factor 2000 series. I don't know when it, I don't know when exactly it came out. I just know it was early 2000s. Maybe 2005? Because it was after House of M. Yeah, I think it was 2005. I don't fucking know. Uh, Uncanny, Uncanny X-Force. I don't know why I said it like that. Uh, Uncanny X-Force Omnibus by Rick Remender. Uh, not, not volume one. It's just a complete collection. All, only one omnibus. Which is why I love omnibuses. At the end, I'll go over why exactly um, you should get omnibuses and where you can get them. And yada, yada, yada. Okay, so this is Uncanny X-Force 1 through 35. 5.1 and 19.1. Yeah, they did that back in the, even back then. Uh, material from Wolverine Road to Hell, number one, again. And All New Wolverine Saga and X-Men Spotlight. It'd be nice if they had half of Wolverine Goes to Hell in this one and the other half in the in this one. See, that's why I have all the dust jackets here so I can completely do that shit. And it's just black on the Oh wait, let me get this wall then. Last one. And another one that's out of print is Carnage on the bus. I really like this on the bus so far. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, shut, shut, shut. I wish I said shut up. I don't know why I was saying shut up. Ah, fuck. It's what I, it's why, it's a, one thing I hate about doing this, is that, oh yeah, I have to collect. Okay. Venom vs. Carnage 1 through 4. 1 through 4. Carnage 1 through 5. Carnage USA 1 through 5. 
minimum carnage alpha, alpha and omega they have maximum carnage carnage maximum carnage is awful it's, it's shitty 90s shit shit absolutely do not recommend i feel like i wasted money but i think the one i have is out of print so i can get my money back but i also keep it you never know when i when i'll get into a 90s kick okay so uh minimum carnage alpha and omega scarlet spider 10 through 11 Venom 20, 2011 series, 26, 2057, 20, 26, 27, I don't know if I said that clearly. Superior Carnage 1 through 5, and the annual number 1. Deadpool vs. Carnage 1 through 4, Axis Carnage 1 through 3, Nova 26, 27, Carnage 2015 series 1 through 16, and material from all new, all different point, point 1. Yeah, a lot of issues in this book, in this buddy, in this book. And this is how it looks under the dust jacket. It's pretty much the same as it looks. Actually, the exact same as it looks under, or over. The... Only thing different is that it shows the carnage thing. Okay, so why I get omnibuses? Number one, when I have money to spare, like money to burn, I can get at least one. Maybe two. Secondly, like with Carnage, this is like the entirety, I think it's all the modern Carnage books. I could be wrong. Except for Absolute Carnage. But until then, you know. Until that point. Just, until 2016, which, I, which is when I believe this came out. 2018. 2018. And with the X-Force, all of them, you know, a lot of them, it, Indivisibles is all the Invisibles in one oversized omnibus. Um, now, it, it is a bit pricey, you know, the Invisibles one, I'm sorry, the Doom Patrol was 103 even on Amazon. It's 150 list price. So I, I would not recommend getting an omnibus um, list price unless you, unless, like, you find Incredible Hulk omnibus number one. For sorry, my dog, um, puppy, um, unless you find Incredible Hulk, even even the second one's less price. You might as well get less price because on Amazon is one hundred twenty five, um, and I don't recommend at least for now because the pandemic, cheap graphic novels is awful. They're behind, and I'm gonna do this while I'm talking. Um, they're behind, and I, again, that book I got, even though it wasn't as bad. Uh oh, that's one that actually came in from um. Telegraph Art and Comics. Yeah, that book came in, by the way. And I don't know if I, I told you guys that link last video. Um, yeah, it just still came in. It was funny. It was like, like I, I canceled the order, got my money back, refund, but I didn't cancel the order. I just got, I just got to ask for a refund. But my mom did return the one. It's, it's her account. I don't have my own Amazon account. I'm not making that big bucks on YouTube or any bucks. I, I can't monetize my videos until I get a thousand subscribers. Which is stupid. Like, it should be no subscribers. Like, you can do it right away. And if, even if it is just pennies, you know, I'm not expecting a whole bunch of money. At the most, I'm expecting, like, a few dollars. I mean, I guess, I guess it's not worth it at that point. But I feel like when you monetize, you get more attention. Like, YouTube is like, oh, this person wants money. So let's, if this person wants to make a fucking living and not fucking starve to death. So it's a, the way the way I just said it, it sounded like, it made it sound like I was being selfish. But you, know, you want to make money to live, be able to not starve to death. Um, I'm sure there's a Twitter person that thinks that it's selfish to want to make money and to want to not die of starvation. I'll bet there is, because there's one that's even crazier than that. Many even crazier than that. Um, getting off topic. But another thing about omnibuses is that it's good for your book. It's bang for your buck. Like, it's a thousand pages plus for 125 for Marvel, at least. DC does like to go overboard with their pricing. $150, I think it's a bit too much. But, um, like, and that, that's list price. Again, I, I recommend you get it on Amazon. Not, not, uh, cheap graphic novels for now, because it took forever. If you have patience, fine. But I don't have patience, so I can't wait. Like, I, I, I can't even do one-day shipping. Nevertheless, two, because those uh, two books are coming in on Wednesday. 
but that's why I'm saving my schoolwork for tomorrow. Because today they had today was a technical day off. They, their offices were closed, and even though it's online, um, anyways, I was like, the hell with it. I'm not going to work. I'm not going to school today. Speaking of work, I wonder if I can go back now that I am now that I've had COVID and have have lived to tell a tale. I don't know though. The right one? Of course I had it. Right, I had this one. I picked this one up. I was like, oh, no, not this one. And they picked this one up. I was like, oh, is it this one? It's like, nope, it was this one. So, all in all, I would say to get... If, if, if you can afford it, I mean, obviously do like what I do and just get one at a time. Because they, they add up after a while. And then Christmas time, like, ask your parents for one. If you don't, if you don't live with your parents, then... And ask whoever gives you presents. Like, whoever gives you the most expensive gifts. I'm sure your parents, like... I'm sure they still buy you presents when you have to move out. It's like mine will. But, um, and sometimes, like, with the Fantastic Four one, obviously, because it's a 60-plus and still running series, um, you're, it's going to go by Creator. Creator. Um, and you have to get two for John Burns. But it's worth it, you know? Um, and sometimes... The ones that are out of print, I would say to never go over the price price tag. You know, if it's if it, if you're getting it for a hundred and twenty five, it's a hundred. Sorry, if it's a hundred and twenty five, I just put this on Indivisible. I just put Doom Patrol on Invisible's omnibus. I'm so distracted right now. Um, what's my train of thought? How much? How long are we going? Thirty one minutes. I, I'm so blind. I, I'm I'm actually blind in one eye. Legally blind to one eye, so I had to look really closely for what that says. See, being the top, for how long is this going for? So where was I going? I was talking about shit, shit, shit. Oh, list price. So let's say the omnibus is one hundred twenty-five dollars list price. That's your limit. That should be your limit because I because but uh, like with um here's Doom Patrol. Like with, um, Fantastic Four by Stan Lee. Volumes 2 and 3, I think, I think I think there's only 3 so far, are being reprinted this year. Late, late, late this year, but... Actually, I actually think it's like August, not too, too far, too late. Um, but this summer, let's say, they're getting reprinted. So all you gotta do is just wait till August, and then you get it for list price. Hell, you probably pre-order it at list price, and it'll go down as the time goes on for Amazon. I don't think you can pre-order on cheap graphic novels. Those of you um, who have had better experiences with the fucking site than I, than I have, tell me if um, they're if you can pre-order. Because it looks like you can't. It looks like you have to either become a member, like be signed in or something. Because just looking at the site, not being signed in, um, it, it shows out of stock when it hasn't even come out yet. And that's and that's, like, way before, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, the book is... Like, every single book. Like, not every single book is that sought after. So it's not one of those things. Or, oh, it's, it's just out of print. That quickly, because the pre-orders. Not the PS5, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, just planetary. This is going to be a pain in the ass to put all these back. But at least I didn't. So the reason why I did for the hardcover is I'm always gonna do do it like this, like do complete collections of it, um, because of the fact that I like to show what's under the dust jacket. And obviously, there's no dust jackets on soft cover books. The only reason I went to go the soft cover omnibuses was because there were, you know, omnibuses. I might as well do that all at once. And I just bent this. Great. That's another thing I hate, is that it's because I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm putting X Wars right here. That's why I don't put them on the floor, guys. Because you will forget that they're on the floor when you put them, put the other omnibuses on the floor, you know, with the dust jacket already on them. So, tomorrow's is going to be a reading recommendation, and then Wednesday will be the haul. And I'm going to end this before I say anything else about the haul, because I, I, I don't like spoiling what they're going to spoiling what they're going to be. That's it.